We are in the beautiful house of Marisa Lonik today. Thank you for letting us in. <laughs> uh, and Marisa Lonik is an intuitive life coach certified by ICF and uh, our program. Uh, she's also a successful business owner and has her business, Mama Work It, has four kids, husband, uh, full life of uh, uh, self-development and success and, you know, you name it. Uh, and uh, we already started our conversation today. And um, I wanted to ask you about um, uh, how has using intuition enhance your coaching practice compared to traditional coaching that you experienced before? I think it's really elevated it in so many ways. Um, not only has it diversified the tools and the different exercises and practicums and things that I can do with clients and sort of, you know, given me a bigger toolkit in that sense, but it's allowed me to gain more trust in myself, more confidence in myself, and empower my clients to be able to tap into that for themselves as well. And I think anytime we're facing decisions in life, big, small, no matter what, being able to lean into our own intuition in that way always allows us a bit more confidence and clarity in making that decision, even if we are talking through them, even if we are, you know, analyzing different paths and things like that. The fact that we have this additional resource available mm -hmm. that we can be utilizing as well, it's just another element that we can we can utilize. So absolutely. You mentioned that makes me think that intuition is actually tapping into your intuition is tapping into your self, into your subconscious, and with that uh, starting to trust yourself. Yes. It's it's self trust. Because you can make uh, intuition as woo as you want and as less woo as you want, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about business and intuition. It's it's about trusting yourself and and trusting others and and helping them to tap into as a coach yes. into their um, authentic, deep self. Right. Mm -hmm. um, could you share if there is any example you can think of? over time uh, when your uh, intuition guided you uh, to an Im impactful insight while coaching a client. Like something where you used your intuition and uh, you maybe shared an intuitive observation and uh, it, it brought some something like a deep reflection or a aha moment or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are many. I think that one of the powers my intuition particularly provides for me is I get a lot of downloads, a lot of ideas. And so that has always been an area in coaching that has been helpful to me. Of course, I'm always, you know, asking permission or making sure it's okay to share some of that content, but uh, that's something that's been a consistent gift that I feel like I have. After taking the program with you, I think what magnified this even more was just leaning into the trust of knowing that if something was downloaded and right, like wanting to be shared, but my client was well deep in processing and thinking through something, I didn't have to necessarily go back and share that if we've moved on to something different. Because even if you get those nudges all the time, mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean that they're meant to be like let out into the universe mm -hmm. each and every time. So I think it's been interesting to learn that not every single thought and idea is meant to be kind of flowed mm -hmm. and explored. And sometimes those flow into even more ideas. Like I remember in the class, for example, I, would, I asked the question once, I have a lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts, and I want to write them down constantly because I don't want to forget them when it's time to for me to mm -hmm. be able to speak and share. And something that really stuck with me was trust that if intuitively that is meant to be shared with your client or come up or whatever, it'll come back. 
It's kind of like when you're meditating and you get the thoughts that run through and all of a sudden you want to stop and you want to write them down. Mm -hmm. They're really interrupting your flow. Mm -hmm. You have to get good at the fact that knowing and trusting that they'll come back if they're needed to come back later. And it's something I still struggle with, but it's, it's been a helpful thing to lean into in that way. It's true. Uh, it's uh, the same thing we, we learn in, in intuitive life coaching that don't think of a question before the person uh, stop talking because they're like, oh, I want to ask this, I want to ask this, this is happening. No, just just be, it, it helps us to be uh, pr fully present. You're present and then, and also trusting that when you are present, when you are really have the best intention in your heart to really help that person, your client, then things will flow, question will come, um, intuitive, the right intuitive observation will come through in the right time. Right, right, yeah. I mean, as somebody who focuses a lot on time management and productivity in my business, planning is crucial. Mm -hmm. And I had to come to a place in within myself even that I needed to understand that the plan is necessary. I mean, obviously I'm juggling lots of things. I need to be organized and plan mm -hmm. things. And the going off plan when your intuition is telling you that mm -hmm. that's the way to go is also necessary. Absolutely. And it must be quite a, a scary thing to do, right? To like when you, you go by your plan and all, all of a sudden you get this intuitive Okay, and you're like, okay, where do I go? What do I do? How do you make that decision? Not, not always easily. I mean, sometimes it's minimal and it can, okay, that's fine. That mm -hmm. works for today. But I'll give you the perfect example is I spent a big portion of my career climbing the corporate ladder, had a big title, had a big job, you know, made great money. And that was a big part of my identity. And that's where I saw myself. That was my plan for a really mm -hmm. long time uh, until my entrepreneurial bug came back to haunt me <laughs> and <Good. laughs> yes and I you know I started my business as a side hustle and I did that for a number of years and you know I thought it was working just fine for the time being uh, and then my intuition really started nudging and nudging and nudging and it was a whisper and then it was a regular tone of voice and then it became a yell and an annoying mm -hmm. nagging and it wouldn't go away and so I needed to really lean into that and accept the fact that this plan is no longer the plan the plan is now to step away from this life you've known for quite some time mm -hmm. step into your business full-time um, very scary decision you know contemplated that for a long time thought with myself for, you know, a long time, did a lot of inner work on that. And, you know, eventually did leave that world and step into the business full time. And, you know, I really do, um, I don't want to say blame because it was the right decision, but I really do owe a big part of that journey and that mm -hmm. process to listening to my intuition. Mm -hmm. I wrote about this a lot in, in my last book, mm -hmm. Biz Management, and I really value the fact that that was a big part of my decision-making process there. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand now with that decision? Great. I mean, no regret. It was the right path for me. I was misaligned at that mm -hmm. point. You know, it wasn't always a misalignment. It was great while it lasted. And then it started to not feel aligned. And we all know what misalignment feels mm -hmm. like. It feels like the regular things feel hard. You know, the daily tasks feel like climbing Mount Everest, you know, we're just, it's not working. Mm -hmm. And so recognizing that and knowing that stepping into alignment, even if it isn't the most comfortable, even if it isn't the planned path, mm -hmm. just really trusting that intuitive nudge and, you know, yourself in that way and all the signs around you. I asked for lots of signs. I got them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you're supposed to be. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, for, for your experience, uh, you worked in corporate and you were very successful and you worked with uh, other coaches and why, uh, why Intuitive Life Coaching Academy you think is contributing or helping you to, uh, to, to be in alignment? Well, I think 
Coaching in general is wonderful, no matter what type of coaching you decide to pursue. Mm -hmm. I think it's anything having to do with self-awareness and learning about yourself and processing things and having somebody ask you the right questions, it's always yeah. a benefit. Adding the intuitive element to it just, I think, takes it at an even deeper level. Right, so it allows you to not only process things in your mind, but process them in your body. It allows mm -hmm. you to tap into your subconscious, which is such a powerful tool. It allows mm -hmm. you to really, really get deeper even into that mindset, those limiting beliefs, mm -hmm. um, because you're exploring them from various different angles. And so I think it's, it's, it's deepening the benefit of what coaching can do. Absolutely. Uh, and why do you think uh, having a certification is important? Because these days um, there are so many coaches sure. who have no special education or, or, or accreditation. Why was it important for you? Well, I did coach before I was certified. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, coaches who are out there, heart-centered coaches, they're doing it from a good place mm -hmm. and they likely are changing lives for the better. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it's not to say that there aren't coaches out there who aren't certified, who aren't doing amazing work. Absolutely, Absolutely are. Mm -hmm. For me, I wanted to, I wanted, to, I'm always big on developing myself personally and professionally. And so it was a goal of mine to, you know, better my skill set, to mm -hmm. enhance what I was already doing, to learn even more. To tap into more of that intu intuitive guidance mm -hmm. and um, and toolkit that I was really just personally very interested in and had seen mm -hmm. the profound effect on my life, so I I knew how effective it could be, but I didn't know how to necessarily use it mm -hmm. in my practice. I had been a student of it or a coachee mm -hmm. of it, but not the actual coach. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be able to introduce more of that, and I wanted to gain more experience and confidence mm -hmm. in that element. Um, and I wanted to be able to get my ICF accreditation. So sure. that was important to me. And you got it. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soon PCC is coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then MCC. Yes. Yeah. I mean, why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Like uh, for, for people like you who combines uh, organization, intuition, experience, beauty, <laughs> uh, intellect, uh, you being a, a published author, and uh, this is, this is probably, this is a path to, to success. Thank you. Yes. And the other reason too is, you know, I think we've spoken about this is in order to teach other coaches through mm -hmm. the ICF, that PCC is a, a necessary component. Absolutely. And I started my career as a teacher. I think I'll always have an element of education in what I do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, being able to have that as an option down the line is always great too. Yeah. And we will drag you back to Intuitive Life Coaching again. <laughs> uh, you don't have to drag me. <laughs> <laughs> to teach, yeah. So, uh, uh, and, um, mm, uh, what opportunities? exist right now for intuitive life coaches to support people navigating changes in the world. What are the opportunities you think in the world for uh, intuitive life coaches right now? That's a great question. I mean, I'm sure there are many I don't even know about, but I mean, a lot of coaches out there consider themselves healers. Um, so I'm sure, you know, there are just plenty of opportunities in that retrospect. Mm -hmm. Intuitive life coaching, you know, I think that, as you mentioned earlier, there's, there's power in obviously like knowing who's sitting in front of you, knowing your client, knowing how much of that intuition you want to be formally tapping into in the session, how much that client necessarily needs maybe a more verbal processing mm -hmm. during that session. And your intuition helps you determine all of that. Mm -hmm. Being an intuitive coach doesn't necessarily mean you're sitting down and meditating with your client sure. every session. So I think it's really how many people out there need coaching. And I think personally, everybody could benefit from coaching. 
hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> so you know, this is really just an additional, again, additional toolkit, additional element mm -hmm. that helps you as a coach be able to know what would best serve the client in that session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is. Uh, um, and what do you uh, find the most uh, rewarding? For you now, you you are into a full life coach in in your work with people. Uh, what is the most rewarding thing for you now in in your experience in your work with people? It's always been other people's transformations, mm -hmm. other people's success. You know, just seeing seeing the development, the breakthroughs, I mean, not like a session breakthrough, even though that's always great to see, but even just over consecutive sessions, over six months, over a year, mm -hmm. um, to see that growth and, and complete life-changing things that happen or, you know, career transitions or, you know, hitting benchmarks in business that mm -hmm. people never thought they'd hit or, you know, just finding the work-life balance, just really living in that alignment and, and hitting goals and hitting things in life that they never thought before could be possible for them. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, give me that any day of the week and yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> and, and it even of, of offsets, right? Or all the challenges of uh, becoming, being entrepreneur. Uh, it's, it, it is not easy. And we would be lying if we said that, oh, it's so easy once you get a great professional, great mm -hmm. skill or craft. And no, it's, uh, but this, this light in your client's eyes, right? This aha moments, this intu intuition that led to, to big changes and transformations is something that we live for. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's hard work, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else you would like to to say, add, or um, yeah? There is something intuitively <laughs> that comes through for you. Yeah. Well, just thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you in this way. Thanks for you know. Thanks for the transformation that you've given to me as a student of the program um, in my ability to be able to transform, help transform other people's lives. I never really like to take credit. I think, as you say, the coachee is the expert mm -hmm. in their own life yes. and we are just facilitators in the process. And so um, just to be able to help facilitate that and to have learned so many additional tools and ways to be able to do that. I'm just so thankful. So thank, thank you. you so much. We can take credit for doing a great job <laughs> of being uh, heart-centered, um, intuitive, uh, caring coaches. Yeah, I'll take credit for that. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.